Good afternoon, Colin here with Tech Out, and today I want to make a little bit of a different video. Um, I started door dashing the other day, and I just wanted to go through my experience, um, how what it was like, the sign up process, my first weekend with it, and all that kind of stuff. So uh, I was sitting around Friday, I was bored, I was like, you know what, let me let me try this out. Um, I'd seen some videos of it on like YouTube and stuff like that, uh, so I signed up, and it was only about two hours from the point when I signed up um, to the point where I was actually fully approved. Um, and that was the ID verification and the background check. Um, both of those were done within two hours and uh, the app was ready to go. Now, when you first start, um, you can't just go in and start dashing. You have to schedule. Um, the only time you can go and start just dashing is if it is like very busy or busy like that. It'll usually let you just jump in and start dashing right away without being scheduled. If not, you go in and you schedule by the day. Um, and you can pick available time slots. Now, once you are, um, uh, you've done a few dashes and you have like some ratings and stuff like that, and uh, you're in good standing, uh, you will get a feature called Dash Now. Um, so whether it's busy or not, um, you can just pick an area and hit Dash Now. Um, you may not get a ton of orders right away, uh, but you are able to start dashing. Um, I have not had an issue with getting orders. Um, usually I get an, uh, an order by the time I get into the, the zone right here. Um, I live just outside of it, so I have to drive over into the, the zone right here a little bit um, before it will actually start giving me orders. Um, yesterday it did give me an order when I was still in my driveway, so I guess it was really busy and I was close enough to that restaurant um, that I got orders. But other than that, I usually get another order by the time I'm pulling off from the drop-off of the previous one. So. Uh, not an issue. I'm really not having to wait, even if I do it at like eight o'clock at night or in between lunch or you know lunch and dinner, like one two p.m. Uh, I'm not having any issues getting orders or anything like that. So that's very nice. Um, sometimes they're quite far away though, which kind of sucks, especially if you're dashing per offer. Um, you can dash uh, per hour, which is per active hour. So from the time you accept the order to the time you drop it off, um, you get a set pay rate. Um, usually fourteen twenty five in my area. They have done promos where it was like 20, uh, 20, 25 or something like that, 20, 20, whatever it was. Um, and there are other, um, like right now, uh, from 8 p.m. to 11 p.m. in my area, there is peak pay, so it's an extra dollar per order. Um, sometimes they'll do like a $3 per order, something like that. It just depends um, on how busy it is and time of day and that kind of stuff. Um, overall, though, from when I started um, last weekend... Uh, so Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I earned uh, 168.55, and then uh, so far uh, Monday and Tuesday I have earned 84. And I didn't really do anything today because it was raining outside, so I only did three orders and I came back home. Uh, so it's it's pretty quick at making some extra extra cash. Uh, my active time was three hours and 33 minutes, so that was the active time I was actually on a dash. So, so uh, you know, active, actively dashing as an order picked up. Uh, to drop off and then dash time is six hours and 34 minutes that's how long i was actually available in accepting orders um which doesn't seem you know that long because i never really like i said i don't really sit around and wait for orders um i did pause my dash a few times in between there you can pause it for like 35 minutes if you want to you know take a break or something like that uh but i only sat for um a few minutes doing that the other day yesterday and any other time it's been very very busy so um as you can see right now it is so i might go dash later i don't know um, we will see, but pretty good experience so far. I haven't had any any crazy issues. The only thing that's kind of annoying is the uh, ratings right here. Um, so you can see this is the on time or early rating. It says it's 79%, which is low. Um, your on time rating is impacted by a lot of things outside your control, uh, but you're still rated on it. Like if I have to get into a gated community or a locked apartment or something like that, even if you contact DoorDash and tell them, that, you know, hey, I had to wait, you know, five minutes at the gate to get into this, this gated community, or somebody had to let me in the door at this apartment, they tell you, sorry, out of luck, you know, whatever, it still counts against you, um, and technically, if you get enough of those, you can, you can get deactivated, they tell you, but um, I don't know exactly how much of the, the on-time or early uh, rating impacts you, I think it's mostly going to be your um, actual, like, star rating right here from customers, um, it says, uh, you know, at under 4.2, you're eligible for deactivation, um, but all my other stats right here, uh, as you can see, are green except for the on-timer early. But sometimes you're waiting at, like I've been waiting at a restaurant 
Um, like I'll have like a drop off. It'll be like drop it off by 2.15 and I'll be at the restaurant until 2.25, 2.30. And I'm like, you know, I can't, I can't do anything about that. The food is not ready. So um, that's kind of sucky that they rate you on that for, you know, especially when they know like, you know, Dasher's waiting for order. Um, I don't think your time should start until you pick it up because, you know, once you're there waiting for the food, that's outside your control. Um, but we'll see how that goes and all that kind of stuff. But uh, that's my experience with it so far. That's, you know, what I've made on my first weekend from Friday to uh, Tuesday when I'm recording this. Um, so if you're looking for a little extra cash, uh, try it out. I don't have a referral code or anything for you guys um, because I have not been dashing for 30 days. Uh, you can refer other dashers to get uh, extra money. Uh, you have to be active for 30 days and have 30 dashes and be in good standing. Um, but I don't I have not been active for 30 days, so I don't have a invite code for you guys or anything like that. Uh, but if I do get one, I will put it down below, uh, but it won't be there um, as soon as I upload this. So Colin here with Tech Out. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. And as always, have a great day.